Several years ago, when I was still happily married, before I had begun any powerlifting or strength training, I had a dream. I dreamt that I was in a gym and that I was strong and athletic and that I was more physically powerful than I had been my entire life. And that was unusual because I rarely remember details of any of my dreams. But what made this particular dream stay with me wasn't the strength or the muscles. It was the fact that I also dreamed that my marriage had ended. And that seemed so unfathomable to me at the time. So much so that I woke up in tears. But I rolled over and I looked into my sleeping wife's face and I said to myself, it was just a dream. And it faded into memory. Today in training, I had a deja vu of that dream and it was dead on accurate and it scared the hell out of me. Gotta get this thing jumping off. Let's go. Uh. As the Reeboks drop non-stop upon the concrete, the rhymes spill up out of me, urging me to freak the beat. People pay me no never mind when I spit like I talk to myself. Don't let me walk by myself, Lord. The street's crowded, but I still feel like a tree in the woods alone. If I fell, would you catch me? If I spit some hot shit, but nobody heard it. Does it really exist, or is it just a myth, Lord? It's not possible to swim in the sea and not get wet or not have you with me. It's human nature to go against your wishes. I know you made the universe. I I guess you make the flow also, but since you represent good all the time, you take the credit for that. I'll take the blame for the rhymes, Lord. I can't be clean in the game so dirty. I know I'm not worthy, but could you please work with me? The two hour drive to Columbus was tough. The first relationship I had been in since the divorce had just recently come to an unexpected end. And it resurfaced all the feelings of abandonment, loneliness, and heartache that I thought had been long gone. So, I think you're okay. I would say we just should do one. When's your, uh, this is June. You should have another one done in August or can, so. Can I do one today? Yep, can do one today. Okay. When's your big meet? Probably next, next month, huh? Well, I have a state championship in July. I see. Uh, and then um, there's a big national championship, but that's not until November. But I kind of wanted to know where I was. Um, oh, if you do well in the state, then we probably we wouldn't want to do any surgery before your na national, I don't think, right? Well, if I can afford it. I didn't pay attention to what the weather was supposed to be for that day. I just knew that I wanted to get some air to clear my mind a little bit and so I decided to drive with the top down and about halfway through it started to rain but instead of pulling over to the side and putting the top back up like most people would I went faster and a funny thing happened that one drop of water hit me it made me feel alive untouchable, invincible. And all of a sudden, I didn't feel so sorry for myself anymore. I began to feel sorry for the other competitors. You can call me Mr. Not, Mr. Spit Shit that's fucking hot, Mr. Make you move, Mr. Buy the room around the booze, Mr. What you got to prove, we all got a life to lose, keep your mouth shut, don't make me do what I was trained to do. By the government, busting shots and loving it, 15 rounds in a clip, 15 bitches get hit. But that was when I was a soldier, past tense, back when my gig was split wigs, no conscience, back when the blood made the grass grow greener, back when a sharp knife cut a throat clear, back when I was supposed to pop up. You'll see uh, two red lights or three red lights. 
In the two months of training since San Antonio, I decided to make a few tweaks to my squat form. And while the 400 pound opener felt light, I misjudged the angle on my knees and didn't hit proper depth, resulting in three red lights. That wasn't that big of a deal to me because I've missed my first lift in meets before. On my second squat attempt of 408 pounds, I had worked out the kinks as far as the depth issue and angle issue, but when the judge gave me the command to squat, I unlocked and then relocked my right knee. resulting in two red lights. Now I was in a situation I'd never been in before. I had never gone into a meet and missed the first two lifts ever. So of course this was the perfect time for the voices of self-doubt to rear their ugly heads. If I miss this third lift, I get disqualified. I go home empty-handed. If I make this lift, I advance on to the bench press and then on to the deadlift. So my choice was clear. I was gonna go back out there. I was gonna push all this out of my head and I was gonna make this fucking lift. experiences the PSA is a little schizophrenic it can go like this right right the biopsy doesn't change that uh, quickly right it takes it like let's just say because we do a lot of people where we re-biopsy them in a year re-biopsy the next year I don't want to re <laughs> I don't want to re-biopsy if I could avoid it right I think right. I'd rather be shot in the arm uh, it must have hurt you huh truer words have never been spoken Having narrowly avoided disqualification in the squat, I felt surprisingly at ease going into the bench press. So much so that my first attempt of 255 pounds felt so light that it moved as if it were the empty bar. My second attempt at 270 felt equally uh, effortless and had I focused a little bit more my third attempt at 285 would have made it past my sticking point but nobody comes here to see me bench press deadlift, I decided to go aggressive. I opened with 550 pounds. My second deadlift attempt at 575 pounds moved equally easy. The solid three white lights gave me the confidence I needed to signal to the scorer table. Six fingers. It was time. Six hundred pounds. Tank Ray, final lift of the day, six hundred pounds. Let's get behind my hand right here. Come on. Six hundred. Dreams, deja.
deja vu, foreshadowing. Those had always been concepts that were very strange to me. But given the events leading up to this particular competition, I have no choice to believe the validity of them. And every individual that has entered my life now, I believe, has done so at the precisely right moment for the precisely right reason. I just needed to be receptive to it. It's almost like riding in the rain with the top down. It seems crazy at first. But if you don't do it, you just might miss a rainbow.